guys, welcome back. So today, as you can probably tell already, I am filming a natural makeup tutorial. Just before we even begin, I want to just say that this is my version of a natural makeup look. I know this is not everyone's version of a natural makeup look and I understand that, but this is just my version. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and I'm gonna get straight into it. So to start off, I primed my skin and I used the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and I also put on some lip balm. The one I used was the Forever Living Sun Lip, so this has SPF 30. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Bourjois City Radiance Foundation. This also has SPF 30 in it, so it's perfect for wearing during summer. And it also has radiance boosting pigments. Basically, it makes your skin look really fresh and really dewy. You can kind of see the glow that it leaves on your skin on camera here. This also is a drugstore foundation, it's only €12.95 and it's more of a medium coverage but it's still really natural on the skin so it doesn't look too heavy when it's on. It also has an anti-pollution formula in it so again it's perfect for everyday wear. This would also be great for anyone who has more of the dry skin type just because it is a bit more nourishing and it has that dewy finish so it's not going to dry out your skin even further. Next up I'm going to put on some concealer and the concealer that I'm using is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and I mix the Fair Shade and the Medium Warm Shade together. This is another drugstore product and I really recommend picking up this product if you haven't tried it already. It is so good and it's only about €6 Euro as well. After I apply my concealer, I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend all of that in. The good thing about the beauty blenders is they kind of absorb any of the excess product that's on your face, so you don't get a lot of product building up on your skin. Next, I'm using the 17 Contour Kit and I'm going to take the lightest shade in it just to set the areas that I applied the concealer. This again is another drugstore product. This is actually my first time trying it and I'm really impressed with it. I really like it. Then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay powder and just set the rest of my face with this. Going back into my contour kit, I'm just gonna take the darkest shade from that kit and contour my face and kind of bronze my face using that just in the areas that you can see me applying it to. For blush, I'm gonna use this one here from the Isadora Face Sculptor Kit and apply that onto my cheeks, like so. Moving on to highlighter. This again is another drugstore product that I just picked up, it's from Seventeen, and I'm also really impressed with this. It's actually really pigmented and it's also kind of like a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to use this eyeshadow from Inglot, it's number 357 and just apply that using an angled brush through my eyebrows. I find using powder products through the eyebrows definitely gives them the most natural finish. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to take the exact same bronzer from the contour kit and just apply the one colour all over my lids using a medium fluffy brush. This is literally what I do all the time recently. It's so quick and it's really effective as well. You can substitute this for a darker or a lighter colour depending on your preference, but it's so easy to do and just make sure you blend out any of the harsh, harsh edges. <laughs> This next step is completely optional, but I'm just taking a brown eye pencil just to tight line. Next up is mascara. This is a new one that I've been using and I really like it. Obviously, I've only tried it a handful of times, but it makes my eyelashes super thick and really, really long as well. You'll be able to see the before and after here on camera, but 
really like it and again it's drugstore so it's really affordable. finish off the makeup I'm going to use two different lipsticks from MAC. The first one here is Honey Love and then I'm going to go in with Myth lipstick just in the centre of my lips. And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said I know this is not everyone's version of natural but this is just my version of natural. Some people probably will think that I used a ridiculous amount of products. I know that but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, all of the info is in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.